Beautiful Monday, Pisces. Welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. I'm going to do your one card energy read of the day. This will be one card talking about the main energies that are surrounding you at the moment. We're going to draw that from one deck. And from the second deck, we're going to do clarifying cards to talk about and build onto your story, okay? As with all um, readings, I put your personal um, zodiac sign card on top of an organite puck where I charge the deck and ground the deck so that we can get the best possible reading for you, Pisces. This is a general read, so it will not apply to everyone watching. However, you should know intuitively whether or not this reading applies to you. I'm going to warn you right now in advance that I shuffle very skankly, okay? And no one, I, I know people have an issue with the way that I shuffle. I'm going to explain to you that shouldn't even matter because I'm going to shuffle um, in a different way also. And whatever card pops out, I never pull the card. I let whatever card pop out, pop out. Because that's going to be the energy for you. There are 78 cards in this deck, right? So whatever pops out for you, that is what is meant for you for the day, okay? I'm also going to encourage you to like, share, and subscribe. And also, if you want a personal reading, you can look down in the description box below and order a personal reading that will best fit you from my Etsy shop, okay? Okay, here yeah, the card flip over. And it's the Eight of Swords. Okay, Pisces, don't, don't think negatively. Let's see what your clarifying card is, because that could be energy. That could be a past energy. We just came off the weekend. I feel like with all the reads that I've done today, you are the last reading that I've done. And all of the readings, all of the other signs have had very um, busy energies also. So don't feel bad. Let's see what's going to happen. Okay, Pisces, let's get one card to clarify your Eight of Swords. What is this Eight of Swords talking about, Pisces? What are we talking about today? Okay, too many popped over. I'm looking for one card. And I keep saying I want one card, <laughs> but the universe keeps saying, look, we're going to do two cards. So we'll see if you get two cards. If two cards pop out, fine. We'll do two, but I'm not trying to do more than that because it's just a one card energy of the day read with supposed to be one clarifier so we'll see what we get here well something flipped over but it went back into the deck so i'm not gonna search for it your first energy card is the eight of swords we all know what the eight of swords is about the eight of swords is about feeling trapped mentally okay you had one card fly out wow okay five of cups okay all right, Pisces, your energy card of the day is the Eight of Swords, followed by the Five of Cups. This is a this is a heavy energy, but let's get into it. We all know the Eight of Swords is pretty much about feeling trapped about things, feeling emotionally blocked um, in your head about things, feeling like, you know, she has it on the blindfold, feeling like you don't see the end of the tunnel. And that's being clarified by these Five of Cups. Look at him. He, he's in his black. He's in a heavy space. Head down. Five of cups. You know, three of the cups are spilled over. And that, that very much mimics this eight of swords. Something happened recently. I'm feeling like over the weekend. You got, you got the two cups up. Like I said in previous readings, I feel like this might have happened over the weekend two days ago. Today is Monday. Um, Something may have happened that made you feel just blocked mentally emotionally and you're feeling pretty sad about it and it's it's come over from the weekend to you know the beginning of your week which is unfortunate um we're looking at her hands right i'm looking at her hands rather they're tied up she has chains on her wrist you feel like something makes you feel like you're bound to a situation and it's making you sad it's giving you emotional hardship you know the cups are all about water water is emotions you have the stream behind them. This stream is in between this land that you're standing on right here and was something else on the other side. And look at her blindfolds on. She's feeling like she can't get to this other side. Something on the other side. It's something on the other side of the situation that you're dealing with that you feel like you can't get to. And it's the two of cups behind you. 
it's behind you you feel like either you either you're leaving pisces either you're leaving a relationship behind you and you're trying to you know how they the saying is we'll cross that bridge when we get to it you're like there's no bridge for me to get over this right you got three cups here you could have been in a relationship and found out that your partner was either cheating on you or you possibly could have fallen in love with somebody else and you're leaving a relationship behind. But I strongly feel like it's the other way around. I feel like you may have found out that someone you're dealing with was dealing with somebody else causing you to be in this state of sadness, confusion. You're all in your head about the situation and you feel bound to the situation. And I'm picking up very strongly like if you were in a relationship, you feel bound how she has these chains on her wrist bound by the situation because maybe you guys have property together okay a life built together and that's making it difficult for you to just walk away so now you feel bound you're on your knees you feel like you've succumbed to this situation and the fact i'm a little frustrated just looking at this i'm an air sign so emotionally i don't hold on to things the way most people do i'm like okay if it's time to move around it's time to move around but with the blindfolds on this person, I almost feel like you want to be blind to it because you have this foundation with this person. But deep down inside, look how you're looking. Okay? You're looking gloomy, and this relationship is behind you. And you're looking at the cups that are spilled over. You're looking down in the direction of the cups that are spilled over. So emotionally, even though you have your back to this relationship, it's still causing you some hardship and heartache. And you feel trapped. You know, the circle, you're in a circle of swords. Swords, of course, and tarot are about thoughts, communication. So you're trapped in your thoughts about the situation currently. And you feel like you can't get out of it. Like you're on your knees. Even though she has a blindfold on, she has something around her, chains around her wrist. Nothing's on your legs keeping you from standing up. You're choosing not to stand up in the situation. You're choosing not to deal with it by being blindfolded you're choosing even though she has chains on her wrist she can lift those wrists up and pull it up off of her eyes she can lift that veil on her eyes but she's on her knees almost like she doesn't want to deal with it and this could be male or female this this reading isn't for anyone specific this could be male or female you can stand up and get out of the situation but <laughs> it's funny i'm looking at it because even though you're facing away from this two of cups which i'm looking at as two people relationship look at it doesn't it look like almost like these cups are following you so it's almost like this relationship is haunting you and you feel like you can't get away you can't get away from it you feel like you're being haunted by this relationship right this is a little bit heavy you know we're not going to downplay that but at the same time that's what you come to tell for us for clarification whatever the situation is oh wow this is interesting okay I just noticed this. So remember, I just sat here and said, and I didn't even notice this until now. I said, you know, the saying is we'll cross that bridge when we get there. That's the bridge right there. Also behind you where the, where the relationship is. You're not, you're so in your head right now about whatever is going on, whatever you found out, whatever your heart is telling you that you don't even see, you know, there's options. You don't even see what's there there's a whole bridge right there that can help you cross over to this other side but you're standing right here and it's behind you so you have a while to go you have you know a little bit of distance to travel before either a you find out a truth about something i feel like you don't know the truth the whole truth in a situation because you're so emotionally trapped right now that you can't think clearly you're not thinking clearly you're you're in a place of mourning right now Maybe something happened over the weekend where something was revealed to you or you think it was revealed to you. I feel like you don't know all the details. First of all, I'm picking up this black right here. This this screams out to me very strongly. I feel like something is not very clear to you. And instead of crossing that bridge to get very good clarity about it, you're all in your head about it. Pisces. Let's look further into this. If you feel inclined to go further with this, you can look in the description box below and get a personalized reading. Um, a reading that will be tailored to your own personal situation. Those readings go through my Etsy shop. You can pick whatever fits you best. 
Also, if you are a twin flame or you feel like you're embarking on a twin flame journey, you should join me tomorrow because tomorrow is Twin Flame Tuesday where I draw energy for the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. And we do a clarification card for both parties to talk about the energies that they are drawing right now at the moment. Okay? So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care. Bye.